see who here has seen a minister in their own government cook the way that I am today. Hands up. Well, <laughs> there you go. If you can't go home and say that you've seen something for the first time, uh, well then, uh, you haven't been watching this morning. Important, uh, the food and beverage expo that we have here helped to showcase the very best of what Victorian producers and suppliers have to offer the world. And if I can play a small role in supporting them doing what they do, then of course for me, I see that as a critical opportunity that we can't miss. Everything is a chef's secret. If you want to make vegetables or anything taste great, add another butter or a chunk of butter. Butter? <laughs> butter? And salt. Yeah. You don't need to cook with anything else. You're really promoting health here. If you if you if you watch if you watch chefs around the world, they go a little bit of seasoning and then they put in a half a kilo of salt. Yeah. A little bit of oil, half a bottle. A little bit of butter, half a block. So yeah. we're just we're just getting on that gravy train, chef. We, we, we have a range of both bilateral and trilateral and multilateral trade deals across regions including, for example, ASEAN. But of course, what we do, others also do. So it's a very competitive landscape there. The ability to purchase food and beverages from Victoria is just as much as the ability to purchase food and beverages from China or America or Europe. And so what we need to do is be able to bring people here to not just taste and see what we have to offer, but also have the ability to go and see where it's made. Well, uh, the, the number one thing that we love to talk about is the clean and green image of our produce out of Victoria. We have a range of laws that try and protect our producers, uh, try and protect our farmers uh, from the uh, ability to uh, unfortunately impact upon what they do. So for example, there's no fracking allowed in Victoria. We make sure that our farmers have the land that they need to ensure that the produce that they make can get from their paddock to your plate. And of course that also goes for our winemakers, uh, from their grape to your glass. So there's a lot of opportunity and we wish to showcase that to the world.